Good morning, my beautiful people. How are you doing today? Happy Thursday. It is the 27th and just want to start off one of my best friends. Um, my circle is small, but it's so tiny that the people in that circle, I consider my best friends. Um, Exelina, happy birthday, girl. I'm not saying your age. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, um, watching the news is depressing. Um, so many other people report the news. I'm not going to waste time on that. Lady, mommy's recording. Shut up. My husband is outside. He's on vacation, so he's working around the yard and doing projects and things like that while he's on vacation this whole week. Um, did want to give you a heads up. Here in Memphis, in Poplar Plaza, there is a Dollar Tree. All of their stuff is still one dollar and their seeds are four for a dollar. So I went, despite the fact, yes, we have tons of seeds, I figured if we can help other people that we know as far as helping them to plant seeds, like give them a little starter kit of food and seeds so they can grow their own by the time hopefully they, you know, run out, they'll, they'll have their own food or um, just to give them out so people leave us alone. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be, you know, mean or anything like that. It's just, and I think that's the whole prepper mentality in, in general, just without going into the specifics, just leave me alone. Let me live my life. You know what I mean? Let me provide for my family. Anyway, <clears throat> The main thing, oh, and the one thing I absolutely love about these now, this is new to me. I'm sorry. I never paid attention before, but this is new to me. Do you see that? I did not know that information was on the back, mainly because my husband is the one that mostly buys seeds. And usually I just see what I want, like whether it's bell peppers or squash or whatever. And I just pick it up. Yeah, I've never... He's he's the one with the green thumb. So, he's the one that, you know, starts the seeds, has them in his garage under lamps and stuff like that. And then he'll transport them into larger pots and then he'll go from there into the garden when it's time. So, yeah, I really never paid attention to, to that. That's just sad. But, um... Yeah, I found out that Memphis is in, we can do seven, is it 7B to 8A or something like that, or 7A to 8B, but um, yeah, I had, I had never, I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand certain things will grow in certain climates, but um, I did not know the zones until a few days ago, so by the grace of God, pr pretty much anything that my husband picked or I picked, grew, um, which is a wonderful thing. The only problem we really had was our pear tree, which actually, uh, finally, after four years of nursing it back to, from death, um, produced a pear, actually two pears, but they, they kind of rotted and fell off. But um, we pruned the tree, that and the peach tree. The peach tree was creating way too many and come to find out we were just letting it grow instead of pruning it back. So we have drastically pruned it back like by half and hopefully it'll produce a whole lot more this year as far as uh, carrying the fruit to full growth because I mean by the time the peaches got about that size like a bad windstorm or something will come on and blow off every single one of them. It was sad. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm running on too, too long. Uh, the purpose of this video, a lot of people have bug out bags. And I have actually done a video on my bug out bag before. It was when I uh, had a partner in crime and we were listening to your aunties. But since I've had my own... Uh, 
channel. I haven't done it. So it's about time to update it. I usually, if I grab stuff specifically for my, I'll call it get home bag because I don't have a bug out plan. Um, and I know that sounds bad, but we don't have, as of right now, anywhere else to go. So we plan on bugging in and the only way I see us leaving is either in body bags or the house catches on fire or the new Madrid fault goes off and swallows our house. Um, by the grace of God, none of that happens, but hey, you have to be realistic, right? Anyway, without further ado, let's run through this as quickly as possible because I'm already on six minutes and y'all know I hate making long videos. So let's start with the outer pockets before we unzip anything. One of my first things that, and yes, I have used it a couple times. You would think I didn't because I can't get it off. There you go. Um, it's been a while since I used it. It's just a basic knife, nothing spectacular or uh, expensive. Just a knife to do whatever I need to do. Um, I actually plan on using this, the flint, you know, to start a fire soon, hopefully really soon. I actually want to practice my, my husband's actually cleaning up the leaves in the front yard and, uh, gonna kind of mush them up and get them ready for the compost pile in the backyard. Okay. So that was the one open pocket <clears throat> first closed one hand sanitizer I can count on one hand how many times I've used this for the simple fact first of all I'm always washing my hands second of all I don't touch people that much so you know usually like if I go out grocery shopping or something like that and no I'm not, I'm not a germaphobe sorry they, they hear my husband and they're gonna bark um, <clears throat> I'm not a germaphobe. As soon as I come in from grocery shopping or wherever I've been, one of the first things I do once I put my purse down and take off my coat is I wash my hands. It's just something I've always done long before any of this happened two years ago. So that's just me. Okay, front pocket. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay. Um... If I'm not mistaken, this bag, there's nothing, you know, special about it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I got it because I went to Walmart looking for a bag and they all looked so cheap. Like, they looked cheap. Let's, let's, let's keep it real. Um, and I think I ended up going to Target and actually picking it up. It is a Embark, E-M-B-A-R-K bag. Not that... I don't think it matters, but hey. Okay, so we've checked a couple of pockets. There was nothing in there. Uh, one of these things that I actually just got a month ago is a water bladder. And it holds, if I'm not mistaken, three liters. I got it off of eBay. Um, I could try to link it, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're interested, and I actually will add, add a link if enough people actually want it. Um, otherwise, it's just a regular water bladder. Uh, gloves, which I've been using. I actually have a set of 100 coming, and they should be here at the beginning of next week. So, I have these. I have KN95 masks. And I've actually been using my ballistics. So, that's what's in that pocket. Oh. And believe it or not, we're halfway done. I, yes, I can actually carry this. I have practiced. My husband actually found these a couple of weeks ago, and it dawned on him, we don't have ponchos just in case it rains. So he got him one for his bag and got me one. So I thought that was thoughtful. Stuff like that makes me happy. It doesn't have to be flowers and all that crap. Um, mini first aid kit just so, you know, just in case. Um, I do actually have a suture kit. No, I don't keep it in my get home bag. 
Gotta have snacks because I'm a fat girl. I'm sure I have a couple more snacks in here too. Oh, I dropped something. Oh, it's a giant Sharpie just in case. Um, this bag actually belongs in my truck. Um, do I carry it every time I go out? No. And yeah, I know there should be a spot where I can leave it in my truck. I don't. Um, and I need to get better about that. Actually, my plan is, and don't get me wrong, I understand if something bad happens like a natural disaster or a nuclear war or something, there's not going to really be a warning. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of need to keep it with me at all times. Considering 70% of the time I'm in my home anyway, since I retired from my job back in July of 2019 due to health reasons, um, I'm pretty much in the house for the most part. And I was like that before, you know, the, the pandemic and everything. But, um, yeah, 70% 70, 70 of the time, I'm in my house. So do I carry it with me every single time? I don't, but I said if things started getting worse, like civil unrest or what have you, um, then I was definitely going to carry it because one of the things I will not show you in my bag is my pistol. And Tennessee has an open carry. You don't need a permit. And yes, I do go to the range and I practice often. Um, like I said, Sharpie, just in case I'm out, I need to write a note or something. I don't know. Um, these, I've only used them once. I know, I, I need to do the things that I'm not doing all the things. I, I need to get better about that. It's just a mini set of binoculars, you know. And I just thought, I saw them and I was like, that wouldn't be a bad idea to have just in case, you know. I always think of the just in case, what if kind of thing. Let's see. This is, is this what I think of? Yeah, my mini sewing kit. Uh, what else is in here? This is the biggest compartment, so this this will take the longest amount of time. Uh, headlamp. More snacks. Love honey roasted almonds. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm addicted. Mini roll of duct tape, just in case. Um, blister care, itch and bite relief. Multi-purpose tool with uh, extras, you know, extra heads. More snacks. Uh, Flonase. Well, off brand Flonase. Water purification pills. I got these off of Amazon. I mean, not a Amazon, eBay as well. I'm an Amazon and eBay queen. Y'all know this. Anyway, nothing should surprise you about that. Um, mini Vaseline. And I think that's it for this compartment. Finally, we're over. Okay. So let's throw this stuff back in real quick. And I think we only have one more compartment left. And then I'll be done, I promise. Like I said, y'all know me. I'm not into long videos. Do you have oh, that back in there. Okay, so we're done with that one. I don't think there's anything in this front little zip. No. Okay, last compartment. I bought this over a year ago, and yes, I do know how to read maps. Um, this one is a 2021 Road Atlas from Walmart and it has the United States, Canada, and Mexico. I did learn to read maps. I mean, I was in the Girl Scouts, but they didn't focus on that all that much for some reason, not sure why. Um, 
but I pretty much learned how to read maps from traveling with my parents from, we would drive from New York down to Mobile, Alabama, and my dad was a, a member of AAA, and he would get the maps printed out. They would actually, you know, you would tell them where you're coming from and where you're going, and they would send you like a personalized map. And it showed a lot of stuff. It wasn't nearly that big. Um, but if you guys in my age group know what I'm talking about, um, it was pretty cool. And it showed all the roads and everything. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how I learned to read maps through that. And I also have this. It's a uh, white. Just something to keep extra in there in addition to the headlamp. And yeah, that is, that's it. Yeah, I do have a wool blanket that I got also off of eBay. Um, no, I have not opened it yet, but it's a see, the size may be on here. It is 55% wool, 45% synthetic. Um, it is 62 by 80 and it is fire retardant. Um, I got one for me and one for my husband. It's not so much something, um, I mean, with it being winter, you probably should keep this in your get home bag or bug out bag or whatever. Um, but I mainly got it for just in case the power goes out. I have one, my husband has one. And um, if the power goes out, then we can keep warm. Pretty much that's what that's for. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Finally, right? Going into 17 minutes. But um, I will be maybe making another one either tomorrow or maybe this weekend or at the latest Monday. You know me. I, I, I give a few days and try to get my thoughts together and do this. But um, you guys take care. God bless. Keep praying. And see you next time. Bye.